If I'm being honest, all of the girl groups that came from IOI are legendary, and Gugudan is no different. All of their title tracks are amazing. They have some of the best singers, and the harmonies they do. Woo I love a K-pop group that can harmonize. Chak Coco is like, my favorite K-pop song ever too so like obviously they're in my top 10 haha. <laughs> my bias is Hannah and my bias wrecker is Mina. While they only recently debuted, they're already one of my favorite groups. Their debut was so solid, even if it needed to grow on me. They're so professional. They have some amazing vocals and rappers. And honestly they're all main dancers. Not only that but they're all such funny boys. Me seeing them live during their showcase was definitely the deciding factor of them being in my top 10. I love them so much already and can't wait to see what more they do for their next comeback. My bias is Kai and my bias wrecker is Biongu. I feel like it's impossible to not like twice. They're all so talented, adorable, funny, and just overall a great group. I used to only be into their title tracks but god they have some amazing side tracks. And even if I wasn't a fan of Fancy, I love every single one of the side tracks on it. Also. They have some of the best stage presence out there and I think that people sometimes overlook that. My bias is Santa and my bias record is Jay Young. <laughs> Literally every single one of their title tracks are amazing. I haven't gone a day without listening to Secret Garden since it came out like. That shit is still fire to this day. Not only do they have some of the best title tracks in the industry. But the girls are so freaking adorable and funny and I just a woo whenever I see them. They also have one of my favorite female rappers. Mimi. Of any pop girl group. My bias is Sunghee and my bias wrecker is Mimi. <laughs> Y'all already know I'm a huge Wiki Miki stanny. I don't know why more people don't listen to them but that's beside the point. The point is Wiki Miki are some of the funniest. Cutest. Most well-rounded girl groups out there. Every single one of them could be a main dancer. They have some of the strongest vocals. One of the best female rappers. And their on-stage chemistry is phenomenal. Picky Picky was also like the best song that has come out this year and I just love it. Also if you haven't watched it. Their reality show is great. My bias is Sei and my bias wrecker is Lucy. Red Velvet was the group that really got me into K-pop and man I'm still such a huge stan. I love how versatile their title tracks are. So if I'm in a bad bitch mood I'll listen to like bad boy or if I'm in a fun and party-ish mood. If that made any sense WTF. Then I'll listen to Rookie. Seriously all of their title tracks are amazing and they have my favorite b-sides of any K-pop group. You can never go wrong with Red Velvet. Not only is their music amazing. But each of the girls are so fucking funny and their friendship with each other makes me big soft. My bias is Yeri and my bias wrecker is Joy. I'm so hot. Na, 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 na. Yo I don't care if y'all still have hate against Momo and I don't wanna hear it. Skip past this if you hate them so much. Anyways. I love Momo and to death. I love their lively title tracks and listening to them always gets me into a good mood. Freeze is by far one of my favorite title tracks ever and man. I love their carnival concepts they've done. It's such a cute idea and I love it. Along with that, the girls are the biggest crackheads ever and they're one of the funniest groups. Like, especially Jui. Y'all probably already know that but Miss Jui is something else and I love her weird and wild personality so much. My bias is nah. Yoon and my bias wrecker is Jui. Man, BTS really butter my toast. They were the first boy group I ever got into and I really love them for that. Anyways, I love how they've transformed music-wise in the past few years. They seem to be enjoying what they're singing more. Obviously they enjoyed and loved it before but they just really seem to be hyped more about this now. And it makes me so happy. Dot I also love seeing artists have creative control so seeing how much they put into their songs is so beautiful. Beyond the music. The personalities of the boys is what really got me into them. They can go from baby to badass to a fucking crackhead in like 9 seconds. We love Duality Lameo. I think Hoseok is one of the funniest idols out there man that bitch is such a fucking weirdo. Okay honestly though. 
All of BTS are the funniest guys ever. Like I could watch those BTS on crack compilations for hours on end and never get tired. My bias is Jin and my bias wrecker is Hobie. Okay I remember when I first got into K-pop and I told myself that 7 members to a group was going to be my limit. Lol y'all can see how that worked out. But man I thought it was going to be hard to get into Luna since there were so many of them. But it was probably the easiest out of any of these. First of all the fact that they each have a solo song and small saboon it really helped me get to know their own personal styles which I thoroughly enjoyed. And god I love how they have such a... Cool storyline it's something I haven't seen done before before I really got into K-pop. Beyond the music. I think we all know Luna are the biggest crackheads. They're some of the funniest girls and I love how close to us they are. The Luna TV episodes are always the highlights of my day and Jesus. That bowling V live was really the best part of. My year already lol. My bias is Gowan and Olivia High and my bias wrecker is Eve. Okay y'all already know CLC is my bias group. While they weren't the first pop group I ever got into, I remember the first time I ever heard one of their songs. Since I was relatively late on getting into K-pop, my first song of theirs was Black Dress. And man, that song was that fucking bitch. And I was like man I gotta listen to them more what the fuck. Going into listening to CLC I was expecting more badass concepts like Black Dress. But what I got was so much better. I love how versatile they are. They went from Hobgoblin to Where Are You to Black Dress so fast and man what queens. It's not just that they do a lot of different types of concepts. The fact that they're that good at any concept is what does it for me. Their voices go so well together with any song type they sing. Not only that, but have you ever listened to them harmonize like, Oh my god these girls were meant to be in a group together. They also have one of the best main vocalists, main dancers, and main rappers of any pop group. God honestly every one of them could be a main vocalist they're that good. Like Yeon isn't even a main vocalist but she has the ability to. Another thing I love about CLC is how close to us Cheshire's they. Try to be much like Luna and even BTS. They do regular YouTube videos. Sorn has her own channel now and so does Sun Yan. I love that they have the ability to do this and God I love CLC so much yo. Y'all don't even know. Anyway sorry for rambling but um I bias is Sun Hee. Obviously and my bias wrecker is Sung Yan. Thanks so much for watching this video. I would love if you told me your top 10 favorite groups as I'd love to see what all y'all listen to. And please stream me by CLC when it comes out on the 29th.